Hi, I'm Eric Trinidad, and I'm here on the frozen Lake David in the Lake St. John region of Quebec in Canada. And we're here to answer the question, is it cold enough to turn boiling water into snow? Before answering that question, you might be curious as to why I'm in an area so frigid enough to wonder such a thing in the first place. I'm out in the boreal forest on a dog sledding expedition with Adventure Aid, an all-season outdoor adventure outfitter that takes willing travelers out with their canine colleagues in the winter, no matter how cold it may be. What do you think of the cold weather here? What's cold? I didn't feel cold today. Just 30 degrees below zero. Our dog sledding expedition is a lot more than just sitting in a sled and going along for the ride. Here, we're learning the ropes of being a musher. From harnessing and driving our own team of dogs, to setting up campfires for warmth and food. We take shelter in huts each evening and drill through frozen lakes for drinking water. Of course, we need to boil the water to purify it before we consume it. One morning in camp, with a fresh kettle of boiling water, we wanted to see with our own eyes. Can boiling water really turn into snow if it's cold enough? This phenomenon happens when vapor molecules coming off the hot water cling onto tiny microscopic particles in the air and form snowflake crystals. This doesn't happen so much when hot steam is continually coming up the heat of hot water in a mug, but when water is thrown into the air, it breaks up into drops. And each of these drops has a surface for vapor to rise from. With more vapor molecules in the air, the more there is to cling onto particles and, like magic, form snow. It's a refreshing treat for our hard-working dogs. As fun as it is to magically make snow, it's not like we needed any more of it in this winter wonderland. Ooh! Rain freeze! 